Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. We are live again. We actually are back. So <laughs> we have an awesome episode. We have a couple of special guests joining us today, which we will introduce in a moment. And there is a really exciting thing happening this week that you need to know about. So, oh my gosh, all of that is super vague, but it's all so good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and roll the intro so we can actually dive into it. We are part of an underground group of entrepreneurs that you've probably never even heard of before. We are Funnel Hackers, and these are our stories. Hey there, everybody. My name is Ben Moot. This is the wonderful Susan Leonardson, and we are here to be Funnel Hacker TV with you guys, our fellow Funnel Hackers. Happy Halloween, everybody. Let us know what you're doing for Halloween. How are you celebrating? Let us know when you guys are here. Um, we got some really cool stuff planned for you because Russell might be hanging out with the dead here soon. Uh, not because he's going anywhere, um, but we got some really cool <laughs> stuff going on. So here's the deal. Uh, if you guys want to make sure that you guys are getting all the notifications, make sure to text FHTV to 208-231-3797. If you're on YouTube, let us know. We love seeing you guys. Uh, we love seeing you guys and, have, and hearing from you. So that's absolutely wonderful. Nice to see you. Yes. All right. Make sure that's all good to go. And then uh, also make sure that uh, you guys are subscribed if you're on YouTube in order to make sure and ring the bell to get notified every time we go live. We go live every Tuesday and Thursday, but in the next couple of weeks, it's about to get crazy. We got some really cool stuff happening next week and the week after that. And there's a lot happening. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, what we're talking about today in order to contain, because you can't, I can't give too much away. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about a little bit about what's happening behind the water cooler because there's some cool things happening on Halloween. And we're going to tell you what's happening tomorrow because there's something super crazy happening tomorrow. We want to make sure that you are getting all the news about. All right. So make sure that you guys are good to go. Shall we jump in? Oh I my gosh, let's do it. Let's, let's bring on our guests. Oh, yeah. I forgot we have guests. Let's bring on our guests. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So All right, so you know one of our guests already. Uh, he has been on multiple times uh, at this point. Uh, we are pleased to have him. Welcome everyone to the stage, Mr. Justin Benton. Woo! Happy to have you here. What's Funnel up, Harry everybody? Is. What's up, Funnel Hacker Nation? I'm live on Funnel Hacker TV. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And then along with Justin Benton, uh, we have another special guest today. Um, and she has a crazy story. I was like, Justin, who should we bring on today? Because we have some crazy cool stuff happening. He goes, we need to have Olga Keith on. So Olga Keith, welcome as well. We're so happy to have you. Thank you for having me. Olga, where are you from? Where, where, where are you at? Well, I'm in Oregon right now. That's okay. where I live. That's where I've been 26, 26 years. 26 but I'm years. originally from Northern Siberia. Ah, see, I know that space. <laughs> That's wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. Um, okay. And, and Olga's been in the 2CCX program for a while. Um, she's been active. She's been giving. And uh, there's some crazy cool story that we have to share that we cannot share yet, but we'll get there. So first off, let's go ahead and talk about what's happening on social. Does that sound good, Susan? Yeah. Russell's been uh, up to a lot. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but <laughs> there's a lot going on. Okay. Yes, so, oh my gosh, we got his so if you've been paying attention you've probably seen that he's launched secrets of success lately he's been talking about the laws of law of success books he's about to go record so this one is him talking about how he's about to go uh start recording the audiobook of it it's gonna get loaded in to the secrets of success members area and i can't wait because i'm ready to dive into that one <laughs> Oh my gosh. And this is the 1925 edition. This is not the, this is not the one that you've all heard. Like this is the one before Andrew Carnegie and everyone else is like, Oh my gosh, don't release this stuff. And he had to heavily edit it. This is raw. This is really, really cool. So uh, Justin, and did I miss anything on this book? Because holy. Well, smokes. out of the fact that it was $1.5 million was the asking price. And <laughs> that was a galley copy, which is, you know, one of only about a hundred, we believe that were hand printed. And he sent out to kings and queens, and Andrew Carnegie got one, President of the United States got one. And to our knowledge, that is the only copy, the full set copy with the signed signature from Napoleon Hill. So that and that's what really begun the secrets of success. That was that was taking the red pill. Absolutely. Um, if you guys are noticing, like if you go to secretsofsuccess.com or uh, slash round pegs. 
Let me go to that really quick slash round, round pegs. Um, we can go ahead and share my screen really quick if that's all right. There we go. Um, this is one of the free bonuses that's in the Mifki. If you guys have been following the linchpin, Russell's been talking about this. I don't know if you've noticed, but he's launching the entire business following this strategy. Um, and so you'll notice that part of the strategy is something called a Mifki. It's how you present your offer. And as all the free gifts we've talked through, Think and Grow Rich, Secrets of Master Salesmanship, Applied Psychology, he is doing the original Laws of Success audio presentation. This is him recording it. So he is right now recording book two. Um, he's getting ready to do book three. Um, and he's got his little special recording space. And we just love doing it. So how many of us want our special recording space? It's like all super secret and like, <laughs> right? <laughs> want a booth. So Russell, and I step inside and I'm like, shut the door. I don't want to hear anything. Like I just want pure sure. Or just, you know, what do they call those rooms where you go just so you can have like a safe space? <laughs> it's just yes. a safe space. <laughs> just shut everybody up. Um, oh my gosh. That's, so that's so exciting that those are coming because he's been talking about them for a while. And I'm like, okay, this is really awesome. But how do I start reading or hearing more or whatever? Yes. Um, so that is awesome that those are coming. But I don't, know, I don't know what you have next on the agenda, Ben, because I was oh. about to do a segue of like, but just because we don't have that doesn't mean we don't have amazing things right now that well, I have been diving into. So, yeah. So let's talk about what you guys have right now, because there was a spe very special day. Justin, what, what day was this? October 26th, 140 year uh, happy heavenly birthday to Napoleon Hill. Yeah, that was. <laughs> and so like we literally got like a birthday cake for him and got everything ready. And what we did is we this is uh, Susan, I'll let you kind of talk about the importance of dramatic demonstrations here for a moment. But like if you notice, Russell went live. This live video was like 30 minutes long uh, on Facebook. And it's all about Russell's or Napoleon Hill's birthday, um, which is not something you normally talk about, except when it can be used for your Mifki offer. So Susan, I'll let you talk about it because yeah. <laughs> well, obviously if it's Napoleon Hill's birthday and your Mifki offer is Napoleon Hill books, you're going to leverage that, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, this was really awesome. I watched, I watched, um, I caught the end of it, but it was, yeah. So celebrating Napoleon Hill's birthday, awesome. So cool. But the, so you, you know, take any advantage of any, like Russell did his own birthday party to go and do, you know, sell some click funnels. Um, he's showing here on the screen, the, the Mifki offer it's three. I don't know how deep you want me to go into this, but the Mifki offer is three books from Napoleon Hill. One of them is Think and Grow Rich, but not just Think and Grow Rich. It's Russell's version of Think and Grow Rich with his foreword at the beginning. And then an unpublished book and an unpublished manuscript, both from Napoleon Hill. What else? What else would you say about that, Justin? That I'm totally botching. No, you're doing it. Um, just one of the fact is the the uh, secrets of master salesmanship was an unpublished manuscript in the back of the archives that literally no one has seen, and Russell was so blown away by it that of the fifteen thousand books that he could have put in his most incredible free gift ever. That was one of them because not only does it talk about salesmanship because we all want to get you know maybe whether you want to figure out where you want to have dinner that night or you want to you know close a deal or what have you it also talks about your own psychology which is really what secrets of success is about is understanding how to unlock your mindset and make sure you're just an absolute you know champion in the mind and that book uh, was just so amazing no one's ever read it there's only four people up until the people now that are getting it delivered to their homes right now has read that book. It was on the back of the archive and it was on thin, thin, thin rice paper. Russell was afraid to touch it because he thought it would just disintegrate. And it was just sitting there. And uh, yeah, we're so excited to share it with the world. And again, as I've said it many times, uh, my, two of my most favorite things about Russell is he's the greatest curator who I've ever met in my life. Now we're going down the 15,000 book rabbit hole of personal development starting in the 1850s. But not only does he curate, but he breaks it down into frameworks, simple frameworks a third grader can follow, which is what's so exciting. And for those of you that saw module one, I think he might have had it on his podcast or he was at FHL, Resistance First to Calling. He did his second module inside the membership, which is your definite purpose. And it is mind blowing stuff. He's, he's grabbing everything and putting it together in, in, in real simple, you know, follow frameworks and steps that is that is 
having immediate effects on people's lives. We see it right now in the community, how everyone is like, I can't believe how simple that is and it can relate to the, the calling that we have and then the resistance that pops up and how to overcome the resistance. So anyways, just so exciting. Okay, you There's just brought up your definite purpose. So that must have just been released. I haven't looked at the schedule. So if you have been in there already and you're like, oh, I didn't like module two, it was saying like coming soon because I was just in here yesterday and I'm like, oh, what's yeah, sure. that coming? It's there now. It's there. So if you're already in there, you can totally go look, watch module two, which is exciting. What? Can't wait. Yep. No, oh. it, and it was really good. It talks about module two, just a little teeny sneak peek as it talks about a lot of us have a calling and that's why we're in this funnel hacker nation is that we're called to serve. And that's what Russell has led the way. And a lot of us, or at least myself struggled with, like, I wanna have this huge impact, but then, you know, you have this weird relationship with money of like, well, I don't wanna like charge too much or how do I ask for too much and all these kinds of things. And, and Brooke Castillo, uh, Russell plays a, a Voxer from her inside the module too, and talking about how abundance and 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 being financially successful and 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 accomplishing your dreams. And then Russell talks about how the wake of contribution that you can leave behind by you being selfish in the beginning to to achieve those two comma club or two comma club X, and then because of that you can you know work with charities or help or teach other people what you learned along the way and they can go and do the thing and have that wake of contribution. So, and it was recorded last Friday live inside the membership site. It might not be up quite yet. He was shooting for within the week, but Good you don't want to do those live streams and those live streams module two is chapter two for his book secrets of success. The book is being written right in front of your eyes. And he committed to Ben Hardy, Dr. Ben Hardy to sell 10 million copies of the book is a three book deal. And that's the commitment level that we're talking about. Can think about that. 10 million copies for a three book deal with Dr. Benjamin Hardy. And that's the first one. So get in the membership site. Take the Mifki. Take the red pill. What are we doing? Come on. All right. So I was just at uh, an event this past weekend, an in-person event. And during it, there was a mastermind at some point. And um, there, so the people going around the room kind of just talking about like, what are they struggling with? And there was one person who, who brought up, uh, that they didn't know what success looked like for them. They, they were like, I don't know what my goal is. I don't know what I'm aiming for. Like, I don't even need the money, but I like working. Like, I don't even know what success is for me at this point because I can't put money on it. Like, there's no number. There's no goal that I'm trying to reach. And I literally pulled up my phone and I was like, I got to tell you about this thing. And I pulled up the membership area, went to module one because in, I think it's like the first or second video, second video on the page, but like first video of the lessons, I think. Um, Russell gives a definition of success, basically a formula. <laughs> and um, it's just like, this is like super important to just living to life. Um, you, I, if you don't go in here, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, like you should definitely just go get this offer. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. And, yeah. And so here's the deal, guys. If you know somebody who's supporting this, who's in this, and you're looking for a community to support you guys, look for somebody who's dropping the links because there's something happening tomorrow too and we want to make sure that you don't have FOMO so let's go ahead and do a form forecast really quick let's talk about what's happening tomorrow because tomorrow there's something happening and I know Justin was dancing about it he was so excited so okay really quick um go and look for the links from everybody else that's sharing it uh we'll share the link but it's a long crazy link um and so look for the people who are dropping the link because this is going to be really really important Justin uh tell us the story behind how this was even discovered. Like, like why, why does he, this wasn't the plan. We were not going to do a challenge. No, but we are on this. So here's the crazy thing. So I would, so I have to go back just a little bit. So, and, and why Olga's here. So for those of us that were at funnel, uh, funnel hacking live, Russell was on stage and he was talking about book number. He was talking about how to get anything you want by LC Lincoln Benedict, which was like his favorite new author. It's the first book we're going to do in the book club. And he was just like so ecstatic, number one, that they only thought there was book one through seven. And so that book had been, those books had been discovered. Uh, in fact, by a family member uh, had, had republished those original seven books of how to get anything you want. And uh, then Russell going through his treasure trove of 15,000 books that he bought, randomly found book eight, nine, 10, and 12. Now, 
up until then, they didn't even know that those books had existed. So Russell's like loving, you know, this incredible author, uh, you know, Elsie Lincoln Benedict, How to Get Anything You Want is the name of the book. So then he finds eight, nine, 10, and 12. And so now his mind's blown and it's like discovering, like this is what Secrets of Success is all about. You know, when I go out there and I go grab my Indiana Jones hat and you know, there we go, we're off and running, right? And so he gets these books and then, um, but he knows on stage at Funnel, Funnel Hacking Live that book 11's out there. He says it from stage. He says, if anybody can find one of these books, can find these books, I would be so indebted to you forever. So hold that thought for one more moment. On stage at the same time, he talked about Definite Chief Aim by Bruce Lee. And Olga and I had sat down at Unlock the Secrets, another event, and we were having lunch together. And there's another funny story about that for another time. But at, at, at 2CCX lunch, after you joined the, the program, I saw Olga and I walked up to her. I go, remember when we were sitting there having lunch? I could have swore your husband said he knew where who had Bruce Lee's definite chief, chief aim, which was his you know definite purpose all written down, for those of you that remember. And then Olga kind of was like, well, maybe I don't really remember. And so I get a call like three or four days later that Olga's like, I found it. She found Bruce Lee's definite chief aim. It was sold at auction like four years ago. I'm like, me and Russell are like, what? What? And so she gets us in connection. And right now we're in negotiation of actually getting that letter. So that's step one. Step two, Olga's like, we're all like freaking out. We're like, that was crazy. Like, you're like Charlie's Angels. Like, how did you do that? Like, I, I kid with her and called her Olga P.I., like Magnum P.I. Anyways, so then she's like, what's next? What else do you want? What's on Russell's wish list? And so Russell's like, and I actually, I might have just thrown it over to her right then and said, well, book 11, the blue one. Uh, how to get anything you want. That's why I'm wearing the blue blazer. And so she goes, does her thing. And I'll let Olga describe how she found book 11, which no, Ru Russell has been scouring the earth looking for book 11. There's so far, we thought there were 12 books in this, how to get anything you want. So she scoured the world and found it. I'll let her tell her story of how she did that. Well, yeah, uh, on uh, Monday, actually last Monday, uh, Justin reached out to me since we've been in contact about the Bruce Lee letter. And he said, hey, by the way, did you watch the video by Russell and the membership about how he's looking for book 11 and possibly, you know, maybe there's a 13 and a 14. So I was like, well, um, I'll go, I'll go watch. And so I went and watched and I thought, well, you know, I found the letter, might as well see if I can look for the book. And I came across this article and to be honest, I didn't read the article. I just so I think it had something. To, so it had something to do with the books. But I scrolled down to the comments, and then the comment section, there were a few comments of people looking for the books. And one of the comment was from this guy. His name is Lou, and the comment was I think it was from March of 2011. So you know, 12 12 years ago, right? And so, and in that comment. It was a pretty extensive comment, but he said how he's been looking for the rest of the books and he left his phone number and he said, call me if you find them. So I thought, well, it's been 12 years. Somebody probably called him by now. So I I called as well and uh, I left a voicemail and I thought, well, it's been 12 years, so maybe it's not his number. So I asked uh, whoever got the message, you know, call me or text me, let me know if it's the right number or not. So, but meanwhile, I went on Facebook uh, looked him up and found this guy. And I was sure it was him because it said that he owned a vintage store in Auburn, California. And there was a picture in, on his cover photo of the store. So I thought, well, you know, sounds like would be the same guy who would be looking for old books. So I sent him a friend request. I sent him a message. He still hasn't seen it. But in, anyway, but then I went on Google and I searched for the store and found the store, found the phone number, and the store was closed on Monday and Tuesday. So I had to wait till Wednesday to call. It was it was excruciating. I don't like waiting. <laughs> it was hard. So meanwhile, I got a text saying, no, it's the wrong number. So I had to wait till Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I'm waiting, and it opens at 11. You know, usually stores open earlier. Anyway, it's 11 a.m., I'm like, okay, I'm not going to call right at 11. I don't want to seem crazy or desperate, creepy, whatever. <laughs> so so I called at 11.01. Probably it was still <laughs> desperate and creepy. Anyway, and Lou picked up the phone. And he. Uh, so I told him why I was calling. And he said, you know, 
I, I looked for those books for a long time and I did get the complete set. So at that point, I didn't ask him about any extra books besides 11. So I didn't confirm what the complete set is but still he said he said i have the complete set of course it's not for sale it has high sentimental value but my daughter in arizona might have extra copies so anyway he said why don't you text me uh when i get off work store closes at four you know when i get home remind me i'll look so i texted him um and uh, he called me if, like, not shortly after i texted and he said yep yeah, i checked i found i have all the books um, and I called my daughter. She has the extra copy. Um, you know, if you want it, it's yours. And so, yeah. Yep. And then I contacted Justin and Russell freaked out. <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> Boxers of Russell freaking out. So <laughs> as, as Olga is uh, Olga is calling me back and saying, hey, I think I found book 11 and then we have a, it, actually we have a Voxer channel that's called Russell's Wishlist now. And, <laughs> uh, and so we're on the Voxer and, and, you know, Russell is literally freaking out like, and because he number, you know, he'd been looking for this forever. And then right as we're talking about it, he's like, you know what? There's 14 books in Brainology, which is Elsie Lincoln Benedict's other uh, 14 book thing. Do you think you could ask Lou if they have 13 and 14? So at this point, we don't even know 13 and 14 of the series exist. We don't know. We've never heard of it. We've never seen it. No one's ever talked about it. So I call Lou uh, and, you know, figure out how we can get these books and all this kinds of stuff. You know, my Indiana Jones stuff. I didn't have to fly in a plane or anything. And so he's like, I got the extra set. Like Olga was saying, it's, it's at my daughter's house. And, uh, you know, I said, you know, make me an offer I can't refuse. He made an offer. I rounded up because I wanted to take care of this guy. And uh, anyway, so... And then, go, he, I, and then I go, as we're going back and forth on Boxer, Russell's like, hey, will you ask to see if there's 13 or 14? So I, I hit him. I think I'm talking to Lou now at this time. And I go, is there 13 or 14 by chance? I don't know. Brainology's got 14. He goes, yes, there is. So first of all, that's crazy news. Like, okay, so there actually do exist. 13 and 14 actually exists. And that was just Russell spitballing in like 30-second window, right? And so now we know they exist. And then he drops the bomb. I think I have extra copies of 13 and 14 at my daughter's house. <laughs> Boom. Wow. <laughs> so we got I'm them. Crazy. We didn't know they existed a week ago. And, and, and out of the out of you know Olga's private investigator, <laughs> you know, work, we've got we were able to get 11, 13, and 14 that we just found out existed. And we got him to Russell. They were delivered. He got him Monday morning. He took pictures. He's freaking out. I think he was showing you, Ben. There they are, 11, 13, and 14. And now he's like, you know, recording them on the podcast. He's putting them in uh, uh, in the, uh, you know, Kindle version and PDF version. And then he hits me up like, I think it was that night, in fact. He goes on Voxer. He's like, you know what we should do? Are we ready to break the big news? I guess the news is already out there. Okay, so everyone. <laughs> All right. We're having a free we're having a freaking challenge. Tomorrow, <laughs> how do you get anything you want challenge with a complete 14 book set? Which yes. has never been seen before. And it's like it's like people didn't know they existed a week ago, except one guy in Auburn, California knew. And and he said these books had a profound impact on his life when he was down on his luck. Uh, these books got him out of and got his mind right. And now he's, you know you know, business owner and life is good. And he shared these books with his daughter who had read them. And, and he even did like a, a, a book club. And, and I, I invited them into the book club. And so Russell's like, we should do a challenge, how to get anything you want challenge with all 14 <laughs> books. And this was like three days ago. And Russell has to like shift other promotions and businesses and companies yeah. and write a whole challenge. And it wasn't even like written until Monday. So any of you out there that are making excuses about, oh, I need a long runway, I need three months. <laughs> no, this was done in like 48 hours. <laughs> and, um, anyway, so we're so excited. We're going to have, if you see down there, we got Russell obviously is leading the way uh, with all of Elsie Lincoln Benedict's contact, Joe Vitale, Mr. Fire, uh, who gave a great presentation at the library, ground break is going to be there. Eli walked up. Uh, Eileen Wilder and uh, Annie Grace, of course, they're going to be involved. Everyone knows them in the community. So, and we have a really special guest that we're going to try not to Easter egg it. But again, the, yeah, I, 
really, 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 really special guests. Like, I mean, people, I mean, it, like, uh, yeah, that's all I can say about that. It's so cool. Like <laughs> a challenge on how to get anything you want. And Russell gets to tell a story, I'm sure, during this about how he got what he wanted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought it was ironic the whole time we were looking for the books is that they're called how to get anything you want. And that's exactly what we were doing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Cool thing. All right. Oh, ready for one more story? Can we drop one more? That There's two, but I'm not going to talk about one. I, there's, I can talk about one. One, one a, special guest? Not a, I'm not going to talk about the special guest. But the guest okay, is what super, else? Super, super special. Like, you know, I'm not, because I don't want to drop it. But here's the, <laughs> here's the crazy Easter egg that I can drop. Okay. So right this morning, he's like, I was, reading, I was reading book 14. And he's like, you know what? I don't think it ends quite right. He goes, do you think there's more books? And so I'm like, well, I don't know. Because... You know, and then so I call Lou this morning. I'm at the gym. I'm like, hey, Lou, are there more books? And it's like, and, and the first off, he, his first response was like, well, I don't know. And I'm like, what? Are you, we just first of all, you just could, we just asked if there was 13 and 14. You had an extra 11. We got 11, 13, and 14. And it didn't think you didn't come to think of you that maybe there were if there were more books, we would want them. If there is a 15 or a 16 or a 40, we want them all. And so Lou's like, well, I'm at the, I'm at the store right now. When I get home, I'll go home and I'll see maybe there are books. He didn't know. So right now, there's a possibility that there's a 15 or a 16 that's out there or a 40. But anyway, so that's out there in the ether. In the <laughs> okay, and it's, so, so really quick story. Like my biggest takeaway from this is we're going to talk about how to get anything you want with dead people literally tomorrow. Happy Halloween. Uh, so definitely go sign up. But Literally, a lot of us wait. You hit it right on, on the nail, Justin. Like a lot of us are like, well, I got to get this right. And I got to get this. Reason. It's not perfect. And you don't realize your business is built in the process of launching. Like you put the pieces in and you you talk about it when it happens. That becomes your story. Like, well, I don't know what I want to talk about for 30 days. Maybe it's putting the content together. Maybe it's realizing this, having the connection. When you put it out there that this is what you're doing, things move, things change. And you get to be able to tell the story, but only if you move. And everyone's like, well, I got to have all the lights green before I before I leave the house. And meanwhile, Olga P.I. over here is just making <laughs> making changes and making the world turn and is being spectacular. So, yeah. you, want, you know, like on that point, like I remember a show, uh, you know, um, Shark Tank, Mark Cuban was on one time and this guy had built this really cool contraption that like went around your waist and you could run and you could have your kid like in a little stroller thing. And I think there was one for the dog. And Mark Cuban was sitting there very interested. Everyone was very impressed with this presentation. And Mark's like, I just have one question for you. How long have you been working on the product? How long have you been working on the patents and all that kind of stuff? And the guy said like three years. And Mark Cuban said, I'm out. He goes, I don't want to partner with somebody that doesn't take fast action because in order to succeed, you have to take action. And just like we know with Secrets of Success being launched, we've had some curveballs thrown at us. You can beta test all day long, but at the end of the day, you got to just launch it and you've got to fix the things that you need to fix. Because if this like Wayne Gretzky talks about, you got to skate to where the puck is, not, you know, not to where it currently is, like right in front of you, because by the time you build the perfect thing, for whatever it is that you're trying to do, the world may have already shifted. We've all seen that with AI and back in March of 2020. So you got to launch the thing and get ready to, to listen to your customers because they're going to give you feedback. Because remember, it's all about making sure that we're giving the customers what they want. We're seeing that in the challenge in the community of the people of the secrets of success. We thought we knew why people would be there, but we're seeing so many people being blown away by the content, by the resistance, you know, and, and the calling and the modules and the books and we're seeing what people really love and now we can make sure we're catering to them. And here's the first thing that we're doing is the challenge, how to get anything you want and over, over deliver, right? We all know Russell here. It's gonna be amazing. Russell's going live. It's uh, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, three days in a row. Look at those speakers. You're gonna get blown away. I'm telling you, Russell has put 15,000 books. He's gone through them over $15 million. This is his number one book of any book he could have chose. He has his own Think and Grow Rich, which is an incredible uh, book and an incredible story, but he chose this book and it just got completed 48 hours ago, less than 48 hours ago. And we're gonna be the first people to ever share it. We're gonna have surprise special guests that are gonna come on. 
folks, this no one's ever seen this. No one's ever heard this. This is this is like historic that you could be there tomorrow. So get on the challenge. I don't th- I don't know if there's recordings or not, but you got to get there and you got to go check it out and and see what this is all about. See what all this excitement is and and what a cool book name. What what a name would how to get anything you want. Who who wants to learn how to get anything they want? Sign me up. And so I've been Oh, oh, I just thought, yeah, I've been listening to, I'm in, I'm into book three of the set so far. And um, it's funny, Ben, you just brought up, uh, you know, you got to move, don't wait for perfection. And I think it's in book three. It's either the end of book, I've been binging them. So it's either the end of book two or beginning of book three, where, where Elsie Lincoln Benedict actually talks about that principle. (laughs) It's like, like there's such amazing principles. I'm only into book three, barely. And I'm like, these books, like, this is my new favorite person. Like, you know, the question of like, who would you want to eat dinner with live or dead? I'm like, Elsie Lincoln Benedict's my answer now, like a hundred percent. Um, she's like the coolest and these books are amazing. And so the challenge is going to be, I, I just can't wait. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like, but also you can get the books inside of the membership area right now. Um, which I'm pretty sure you can get access to if you just go sign up for the challenge. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and the crazy thing is like, Elsie Lincoln Benedict was pre-Napoleon Hill. She spoke publicly in the early 1900s to over 3 million women when it was not a thing. And so she's this huge influence in in American history that 99% of you, including myself, didn't know of her. And she's before Napoleon Hill. And that's why we're doing this, this Secrets of Success, because there's these incredible people that their legacy, their teachings, their philosophies were gone until Russell and Olga found it. <laughs> Thank and you, Olga. So we haven't said it yet. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you, Olga. <laughs> yes. And so it's all of these incredible teachers from the 1850s until present day. And we're giving you access to unpublished, undiscovered. It's like, it, it's just, it's like, I don't know what more to say. Get in there. If you're not in the secrets of success now, now like, do you, I, I don't know what it's going to take for you to like, say, this is nuts. I want to test drive this thing. I want to get these three books. I want to see what this community is all about. What is in chat? What is in book 11? What is in book 13 and 14? Uh, and this is like, and this isn't like, you know, it's just Russell's going live. Russell's doing the, the modules. So those of you that want more access to Russell, Russell's going live in here almost daily. It feels like. So if you want interaction yeah. with Russell, this is where he lives. And if you want more interaction, you could be like Olga and get a library uh, seat down there because that's when that library is done building. I can promise you there's going to be a cot in somewhere in that library and Russell will be sleeping there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure of it. Okay, so really quick, if you guys don't have a link to the challenge and you're like, just drop the link, um, here's the deal. Uh, go and look for the link from other people. Everyone's dropping the links. There's The whole point of this is community. You gain success by being a part of a mastermind and getting collected with other people. So go and look for ways to do that. If you're just like, just drop the link, gosh darn it, then here's the deal. It is secretsofsuccess.com slash how to get anything you want. And everywhere there's a space, you put a dash. So secretsofsuccess.com slash how to get anything you want, dashes in between all of it. That's where you go in order to be able to uh, check it out because it's going to be awesome. So here's the deal. Uh, we're going to be covering a little bit about it. It's going to be going on tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. So when we do Funnel Hacker TV on Thursday, we'll talk a little bit about it because we're going to be freaking out. Uh, so we're going to be doing that tomorrow. Um, but there is more happening. You guys just make sure that you are on getting all the notifications. Uh, definitely join uh, the program. And if nothing else, definitely text FHTV to 208 231 uh, in order to get all the notifications for everything that's going on. Uh, really quick, did we miss anything, Olga or or uh, or Justin? Is there anything that we've missed? Well, there's a lot more stories, but I just want to say one final thing. What's the name of this this TV show that we're on? Fun, uh, funnel, <laughs> funnel Hacker TV. Go Funnel Hack Russell. Go Funnel Hack this challenge. Yes. Where do you see what happens when you sign up? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder <laughs> if there'll be a linchpin continuity you know, Mifki, that'll drive you. Thank you, Paige. I just wonder. This is Funnel Hacker TV. Go to the challenge, just a funnel hack. Russell, this is Russell at Russell's best right now, giving you his absolute best foot forward. So go funnel hack, the ultimate funnel, you know, hacker. 
and uh, we'll see you inside the challenge and super blessed and honored to be here i love what you guys are doing i can't wait for did we say this was going to be on nbc or fox i can't remember where we're, we're, we're We've made uh, it onto youtube <laughs> everywhere <laughs> so and we're going to end this off really really cool so um danny walsh and madison dotery tipton did i say it right pretty close <laughs> You got it. Well, created <laughs> created a really cool AI video for everybody. Um, it's just something that they created. It's just fun, uh, but it kind of represents everything that Russell's kind of been going through. So here's the deal. First off, um, all the strategies, everything Russell's doing is all a part of the linchpin. So you should have a copy of the linchpin. Um, if you're wanting to see why he's doing what he's doing, number one, go funnel hack, go through everything, see what he's doing. Number two, understand the strategy by going through it piece by piece. Uh, this book is spectacular and it will take you through it. I know Olga has been going through the whole process and seeing things step by step. Um, guys, you're going to want, you're going to want to do the same. So make sure that you're doing that. And with that said, uh, I think we should part ways with a special message from, from our AI friend. Does that sound good? Everybody. Yes. Sounds yeah. amazing. You're going to love it. It's so cool. Go. I'll just keep waiting. <laughs> you got it. Come to tell you a story of one man, known by many simply as the Seeker, who possessed an insatiable hunger for knowledge and a relentless drive to unravel the mysteries of success. His journey began with the words of Napoleon Hill, whose wisdom ignited the spark of ambition within him. Through dusty archives and ancient libraries, he scoured every corner of the earth for these hidden treasures piecing together the mosaic of success, one manuscript at a time. Through valleys and across rivers, he sought out forgotten gems, determined to uncover the secrets of success. And as the sun dipped below the Idaho horizon, the seeker knew that his mission would not be stopped, for he carried within him the dreams and aspirations of countless souls who, like him, sought the elusive key to success. With the spirit of adventure in his heart and the wisdom of philosophers by his side, the seeker continued his quest, knowing that the journey itself was as important as the destination. And in the end, he would emerge of great minds, but also with the realization that the true secret of success was not hidden in books alone, but in the unyielding spirit of those who are the dreamers of the day. Yet, his mission had a higher purpose, one that echoed through the ages, a purpose that illuminated his path as he stood on the cusp of revelation. The secrets of success were not meant to be hidden in dusty archives, but to be shared with the world. It was a duty he embraced with open arms for he knew that the wisdom he possessed could ignite the fires of ambition in count. My name is Russell Brunson, and I'm part of an underground group of entrepreneurs that you've probably never even heard of before. We don't rely on cash from venture capitalists to get started, and we don't even have goals to go public either. In fact, our motivation is the exact opposite. You see, we have products and services and things that we know change people's lives. But because we're fighting against the big brands, people with literally unlimited budgets, we have to do things differently. We have to do things smarter. We don't have financial safety nets because every test we take is with our own money. We have to be profitable from day number one. So how do we do that? How is that even possible? If you ask the MBAs or look at your college textbooks, they will tell you that what we are doing is impossible, yet it's happening every single day. And it's happening through an art and a science that we call funnel hacking. It's not really something that I can explain to you, it's something I have to show you. These stories are a glimpse of entrepreneurs just like you who have a dream and a vision who want to change the world in their own little way. I use the funnel hacking process to help make their dreams become a reality. Yes, we are funnel hackers and these are our stories.